someone asked me something and this person said to me, Kevin, I prayed about something and that something did not happen. And I believe that this person may have waited one or two days or let's say less than a week. One thing I really have been learning, when it comes down to God, you need patience. Patience is key. In this world, as it seems, so many people want things so quickly, like they don't want to wait. Like, as it seems, so many people are in a rush. And even when it comes down to driving, it is so amazing how angry <laughs> some people can get when they are driving. As it seems, even when it comes down to driving, people are so impatient. Some people don't want to wait. Even if it is 20 seconds longer, they don't want to wait. So we live in this impatient world. You want things now. As it seems, so many people don't want to wait. When it comes down to God, that is not going to work. <laughs> if you believe that you can come to God being impatient, do you believe that that is going to work? Of course not. Patience is key. You need patience in praying. You need patience in reading the Bible. You need patience when you are waiting for God to answer your prayer. You need patience in all areas in this life. When someone is telling you to be long-suffering, what does that mean? Being patient with difficult people. Being patient when things are going wrong in your life. Listen. So much impatience. How can you excel in God when you are impatient. Yes. Usually when people are impatient, they have anger issues. Usually, they are not really humble. So do you believe that you can approach God in this impatient, angry, not humble way? God is not going to answer anyone's every prayer quickly. Every prayer that a Christian prays for, God is not going to answer it instantly. Not every prayer. Some prayers are going to take more time. Some prayers aren't. If you are not obeying God, if you are doing your own way, you are staying in sin, and you believe that God is going to hear your prayer, and answer your prayer when you are in sin. 
So you believe that God is going to answer your prayer while you are in sin and you want it now. How crazy is that? How silly is that? God is telling us to be perfect, to be righteous. And you believe that God is going to hear your prayer and on top of that, answer your prayer within that instant. And when it doesn't happen, you get discouraged and fall away, which you are already in sin anyway, so you fall more away, I guess. Patience. Stop believing that God is going to do everything for you so quickly. You need patience. Every quality that God wants us to have in some way or form, I believe, and I can be wrong about this, those qualities, in order to get, obtain those qualities, you need patience. Think about that. Stop being so impatient. Wait, wait on God. Well, Kevin, God has not answered my prayer in two years. Keep on waiting. God is not like popcorn. You need faith, obedience. You know what? This person commented to me, commented to me, and was saying, Kevin, I want to see in the spirit. I want this, I want that. Listen, man, do the basics. Why in the world would God give you so much when you are not doing the basics? You can't even obey right. You can't follow the commands. But you want all of this power here. Listen, if you are still struggling in sin now, if God gives you more power, that power is going to destroy you because you won't know how to handle it. Patience. Yes, I know that you want to speak to God and shake hands with angels and blah, blah, blah. Do the basics. Obedience. Faith. Long-suffering. If you don't have the basic qualities, how in the world can you minister to people? How can you be effective? Knowing how to teach is one thing. But if you don't have the qualities of being a true Christian, whatever gift that you have, it is going to be corrupted. I am talking about something right now. It is going to be corrupted. This is why I tell people, slow down. Slow down. Do the basics. Then ask for more. Listen, the more power that God gives you, you have to know that you are going to get persecuted more. The more gifts that God gives you, as it seems, I can be wrong about this, but the more demonic attacks are coming your way. See, you are only seeing one side of it. You are seeing, oh man, 
how amazing would it be to see angels and heaven and God, blah, 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 blah. But what you are not seeing, how many trips you may have to go to hell and see demons and see evil things attacking you at night and stuff like that. Listen, if you can't do the basics, how in the world, like I said before, that power is going to destroy you. If you don't have the basics, please listen. Try to get the fruit of the Spirit first. Try to get those qualities first. Aim for that. Then when you get it, then aim for more. But <laughs> the more power that God gives you, you are going to see that persecution is going to rise for you. It is not fun. Let me stop here. God bless you.